Good morning and thank you for the privilege of the podium. We have nothing to disclose. Uh, laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair has become both a standard and valid option re for repair of both initial and recurrent inguinal hernias. However, due to the complex, uh, complex laparoscopic skills required to perform this case, adoption has been slow. Um, inguinal hernia repair is a core competency of general surgery residency, and residents must be able to perform not only open inguinal hernia repair, but laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair as well for their future independent practice. Okay. The aim of our study was to examine the change in distribution of hernia repair technique and capture the trends in resident operative autonomy across the VA system. We examined, our database was the VASCRIP database, and we looked at a 15-year time span, and our population included veterans who underwent either laparoscopic or open inguinal hernia repair. So the VASCWIP prospectively codes the level of involvement in an operation by both attendings and residents, and those codes were captured uh, and stated as follows. The first being AP, or uh, attending primary, where attending is performing um, a case with or without a resident. The next being AR, or attending and resident, where an attending and resident are performing a case, and the resident is performing the majority of said case. And finally, RP, or resident primary, where a resident is performing the case while an attending is in the room, not scrubbed, but immediately available. Our primary outcome was to examine the percentage of laparoscopic versus open inguinal hernia repair and capture resident autonomy uh, over time. Our first graph uh, captures the percentage of open versus laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair over a 15-year time span. Uh, the orange line indicating laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair has seen an increase from 9 to 28 percent over the past 15 years with a co-committant decrease in open inguinal hernia repair. This graph demonstrates the levels of resident operative autonomy, specifically in laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair. The blue line indicating resident primary has shown a 90% decrease over the past 15 years. The gray line indicated attending primary has seen a sharp increase of 165% over the 15 years. Surprisingly, throughout this data set, <clears throat> despite the increasing volume, and attending involvement in laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair, the AR cases have gone down, uh, showing th that residents are not being taken through these cases. In conclusion, laparoscopic inguinal hernia repair volume has tripled over the past 15 years, yet despite this increase in volume, resident autonomy and involvement in said cases has declined. Thank you.